What we learned in a very short amount of time is that without a doubt, Kaylee wanted to save as many lives as she could and help others. All she's ever wanted to do is save lives. The people in this hospital are here to help. It's happening around the clock. It started with this crash involving four Monroe teens headed to prom. I blacked out. And when I came to, it was kind of like shock. It was our worst nightmare. I broke the news to everybody. Walking into a room like that with all the tubes and lines and the monitors and the beeps, and I was trying to prepare the family. Kaylee was two weeks away from graduating, planning to go to Ohio State University to fulfill her dream of becoming a surgeon. We saw Mitchell and Kaylee, they came running up to us. We took pictures, but um, I guess they were running late for dinner. She loved prom. She was all hyped for prom. Kaylee and her friends never made it to prom. She was thrown out of the back seat of this 2013 Tesla. The driver and the other two passengers in the car were released from the hospital. She's my girl. He's my girl. This marked the beginning of one of the toughest decisions Kaylee's family would ever make. It's been 72 hours almost to the, to the team. Kaylee was unresponsive. She is, she's gone. So I'm trying to kind of like put my mind around that and know that she's not there. It's just her body. That can be sometimes confusing for families because they're told that their loved one has passed away. However, they're pink, they're warm, their heartbeat can be seen up on the screen. At 17, Kaylee was adamant about being an organ donor. Kind of knew what was gonna happen in a sense, even though we didn't really wanna hear it. This is what she wanted, so she's gonna save a lot of lives, unfortunately, due to something that shouldn't happen. But. Her grandfather had two kidney transplants gifting her family 13 more years with him. When my father received his transplants, it was hard for the whole family, but yet we appreciated every second and all the time that we had with him. Once Kaylee's family came to grips with her decision to save others, the clock started. It's usually about 24 to 36 hours of coordination of efforts. The gut-wrenching decision of who will get Kaylee's gifts rests with this man. My phone is ringing a lot. Dr. Shamal Shah is chief of transplantation and a medical director for Life Center. Teams immediately start to review donor history, send off blood tests, and check for any infectious diseases that could be passed on to the recipient. You get an organ offer and then you have to decide, uh, is an organ suitable for the recipient? Shaw says a healthy donor can save up to 12 lives. Teams continue to find out what Kaylee could give and where her gifts could go. How would you describe how you're feeling right now? Tired, um, sad, um, happy. Her family received update after update. I would say at peace, knowing the outcome. I wish I could describe it, you know, in terms of being on the receiving end of somebody doing the exact same thing that Kaylee is doing. It's one of those things where you don't know the true extent of what the other person has gone through to be able to give that gift. Her classmates, friends, and family continually prayed for her, lining the halls of the hospital for days. It's just difficult to kind of grasp. As you look back and you think of everybody that came there in the halls, they were all over the waiting room, and just wanting to know what's going on. Um, it's very humbling. As Kaylee gives one of the most honorable gifts possible, her family received one as well. We will record their loved one's heartbeat, and we present that to them in the form of a bear, where they can always hear their loved one's heartbeat. A reminder that from tragic loss rose life, and that Kaylee's heart is always present. I think her legacy's over. I think it's just beginning. A beginning that allowed Kaylee to save six lives and touch 50 others with her gifts, just in time. Now, as we sat in the hospital with Kaylee's family and watched as they made very, very tough decisions and received updates. It was amazing to see their resolve through their exhaustion and emotion when the donation coordinator came in to tell them that Kaylee would be able to donate tissue. And while it was a true celebration, this was life changing for them to be a part of making one of Kaylee's dreams come true, which was to save others. That's, a, that's exactly what I was thinking as a parent, I think, 
you're watching this and you can understand that your child wants to be an organ donor, but she was so young, right? But for that family in the worst moment of their life to say, okay, yes, and make that decision that it has to, because it has to happen so quickly, really such a selfless family as well. Absolutely, and to allow us to be there. I mean, you both are parents. You know, this is a tough time and to have to make decision after decision. And this is your baby girl, you know what yeah. I mean? And that, that was very, very tough for them. But they did it without a doubt because they knew what she wanted. They respected her wishes. And it was great for everybody to see this because when you're a teenager at the BMV and they ask you that simple question, do you want to be an organ donor? Uh, you know, you're right. not thinking about that. Mm -hmm. Well, now you see what that one answer of yes could do for all these other people. I mean, at 15 and a half years old, right. you can make that decision in Ohio. Right. Now, as a parent, if your child is under the age of 18, you can overturn your child's wish. De decision right. or, or mm -hmm. wish, right. but her family said absolutely not. Right. We knew what she wanted. Uh, thank you so much, and, and certainly thank you to their family, and, and not just a message, I think, for teenagers, but right. for Everybody. all of us. When you're in a rush at the BMV or the DMV, thanks so much, Alexis, we appreciate it. Amazing story tonight, Alexis, thank you so much.